Hello everyone. So, now we are going to begin exploring the idea of modular multiplication. So, let us start the problem. Let a1 and a2 be integers such that a1 is congruent to a2 mod 6. And let b be some integer. Part a wants us to show that 2 times a1 is congruent to 2 times a2 mod 6. Part B states that A1 times B minus A2 times B is a multiple of 6. And finally, Part C asks us to show that A1 times B is congruent to A2 times B. is um, Kind of helping us get the intuition that when we multiply uh, two congruent values by some number that that product will remain congruent so as we always do let's start with information the problem already gives us namely that a1 is congruent to a2 mod 6 and as we know this implies that the difference between the two, a1 minus a2, is a multiple of 6 times some integer, which I'll call k. This comes from the definition of modulo congruence. Now, let's tackle part a. Well, let's use the fact that we know that the difference of a1 minus a2 is a multiple of 6. Again, times some integer. But the important part is that it's a multiple of 6. So, um, how can we approach this problem? Well, uh, in order to show that this is true, what I need to do is have changed the a1 and a2 so that it's 2 times a1 and 2 times a2. And if I can show that that is a multiple of 6, then I have congruence as well. So what I can do with this equation is just multiply the equation by 2. And what that becomes is we distribute the 2 to a1, and we get 2 times a1. We distribute the 2 to negative a2 to get negative 2a2. And, of course, 2 times 6 is 12k. But... What we have is that, I mean, 12 itself is a multiple of 6. So this part can just be simply written, like, I'm kind of just going to do the reverse of what I just did. But we can think of this as 6 times 2k. And since k is an integer, 2 times k must also be an integer. And since this is an integer multiplied by 6, then what we have is that the difference of 2 times a1 minus 2 times a2 is a multiple of 6. And that shows, by definition of modulo congruence, that if the difference is a multiple of 6, then 2a1 must be congruent to 2 times a2 mod 6. And that solves part A for us. Now part B. Show that a1 times b minus a2 times b is a multiple of 6. So this is kind of 
just the same process that I did last time. I'm going to take the fact that A1 minus A2 is a multiple of 6, and I'm going to multiply that equation by B, just like in the last one, we multiplied it by 2. So, I'm going to take my integer B and multiply it with A1 minus A2. And of course, what I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to do 6K times B. Distributing the B, we have A1 times B minus A2 times B, because we distribute A2, is equal to 6 times KB. That six is a little, a little sus. So let's six, whatever. And what that shows is that yes, um, k times b must be an integer because again, k is an integer. We have already defined b as an integer. So kb, k, any integer times any other integer must be another integer. Because a whole number times a whole number is isn't no, there's no way that's going to be a decimal. There's no way that's going to turn into a fraction. So we have that it's six times an integer, meaning it's a multiple of six. Now part C says to show that a one b is congruent to a two b mod six, but really that's what we just did since we have shown since we have shown that a 1 B minus a 2 B the difference of those two values is a multiple of six that proves that they're congruent and if you're a little bit unsure about that just remember we could also rewrite this by dividing six on both sides so that we have a 1 B minus a 2 B over 6 on the other side the 6 cancels out and it's just K times B and again if we remember that definition of modulo congruence let me see if I can just Whip that up real quick. Uh, yeah. We know that for any integers, they are congruent mod m if and only if the difference over m is an integer, is an integer, like in our example, um, kb. kb is an integer. And since we have that the difference of our two values over 6 is an integer, that shows absolutely that a1 times b is congruent to a2 times b mod 6. And that completes the problem for us. Now, in the next video, we'll develop a stronger version of this idea. Um, and we're going to generalize it to not just mod 6, but in any modulo system that we could use.